Hey there guys, this is Jack over at High Red Bird, and as a special Valentine's Day treat, I gave my Patreon supporters the option of naming a roach after somebody in their life who they felt was a bit of a roach, uh, and then getting the opportunity to see that roach get fed out to one of my insectivores. So if that's something you guys are interested in seeing, you want to make sure to stick around, because that's going to be coming up right after this. <music> guys, this is Jack over at High Red Bird where I am tirelessly working to find new ways to make the keeping of exotic animals and pets more exciting, more affordable, and ultimately more enjoyable. Now for today's video, I decided to do something a little bit different, something a little bit fun, and give my supporters on Patreon the opportunity to name a roach after somebody in their life who they thought best represented the term roach. Uh, I will show you guys these roaches, I will tell you what they have done to be considered a roach, and then uh, you will get to see them be fed out to one of my insectivores. Now a couple of things before we get into this. First of all, if you would like to support me on Patreon, you can find a link in the description section of the video. Uh, it's incredibly appreciated for everyone who takes the time to support any of these videos. Giving them a like or a thumbs up, sharing them with your friends, subscribing to the channel, leaving comments, all of those things are helpful. Uh, and of course, subscribing to Patreon helps me get toy parts or other materials or things so I can show you guys new and different tutorials. So again, for all of my Patreon supporters, thank you all so much. If you are interested in becoming a Patreon subscriber, you can find that information in the description section. Now the roaches that I'm going to be feeding out are Dubia roaches. They are a great feeder insect. I've actually got several colonies of them um, because in terms of nutrition, they are great for a lot of different insect eating animals. Uh, now I am also going to be dusting these roaches with a calcium and vitamin supplement. Uh, I've actually shown you guys how to do this before. Uh, it's a great way of ensuring that your animals are getting the most optimum nutrition. Now the animal I'm going to be using for this is my juvenile Nile monitor. Uh, Cleopatra. She is a beautiful lizard. Uh, she can be a little bit feisty. Nile monitors are actually known for having a little bit of a, let's just say disgruntled temperament. Uh, so this is actually a great opportunity for me to build that relationship with her as well. Coming up close to her, handing her food. Uh, she comes right up to me, as you can see. She is not aggressive towards me. So this is helpful in a lot of different ways. It helps me build that relationship with that animal. It helps me ensure that she is getting the best possible nutrition to ensure she grows up nice and strong. But also, uh, you guys will be able to see some people get eaten who probably have it coming. So let's go ahead and jump into some of these roaches. Now first up, we have Mabel. Now Mabel flirted with everyone's husband, including her cousin's husband, at her cousin's wedding. So for that reason, it was decided that Mabel needed to be fed out. Uh, and as you can see, Cleopatra had a little bit of questionable taste even eating that roach. Next we have Jane. Jane told her daughter that she was throwing her life away. And as you can see, Cleopatra is not going to put up with that sort of negativity. So Jane went rather quickly. Our next roach is going to be Dennis, who broke up with his ex repeatedly, including before Valentine's Day, before a birthday, before Christmas, and right before final exams. So Cleopatra definitely wanted to make sure that she took care of Dennis so that Dennis would not have the opportunity to inflict that sort of emotional torment anymore. And our final roach that we are feeding out today, Lucille, uh, criticized the music at every single opportunity. And uh, she probably won't be hearing too much music now. Now, 
Now, I do want to thank you all so much for tuning in, watching each of these videos. If you liked this idea, if you like the idea of us doing more fun things here on the channel, go ahead, give the video a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment with some ideas for other things you would like to see me do. If you haven't already, I'm going to ask you guys to subscribe to the High Redbird YouTube channel. Uh, I put out all sorts of training tutorials, animal enrichment and toy tutorials, uh, a lot of different things geared at helping people take better care of the pets and animals in their life. So if that is something that would help you out, I definitely encourage you guys to subscribe to the channel. And I certainly hope that I see you guys next time. I do need to say a special thank you to my patrons on Patreon. By signing up to support this channel, they help me make more tutorials and videos showcasing animal care possible. If you'd like to find out more about subscribing to my Patreon, you can find the link in the description section down below. Thanks so much. Mm -hmm.